From the movies to skating rinks, it was a phenomenon in suburban America. Didn't matter your gender, race, you went roller skating with your friends and it felt like you were on top of the world. Something and it happens every once in a while. Magic. Aww. Fueled by disco music from the late 70s through the mid 90s, hundreds of thousands of kids spent countless hours skating and skating. In fact, growing up at the roller skating rink. The roller rink became the place to be at, to be seen. In San Diego, there was one that got away and slipped into history more than two decades ago. And to fans of a place called Aquarius, oh, it was their paradise. little tear-off ticket, that's all it was, but for more than a generation of San Diego kids, it opened the door to true liberation. We, on a Friday night, we could have six to 800 kids there um, on a Friday night. We skated 12,000 plus a month. It's been closed more than 20 years now, but if you skated here, that song and the sweet memory of this place called Aquarius can even now bring some very grown-up tears. For here is where you might have met the dearest friends of your young life. Here you could skate, and the troubling teenage world outside was, for a while at least, unimportant. And you could just see groups of friends growing and growing and growing. And then this group of friends and this group of friends all of a sudden becoming a bigger pod, so to speak, you know? Grown up now, those skating friends still reminisce online, Randy Strunk worked there. His brother Jeff used to repair skates at Aquarius. His parents, Ruth and Al, were the owners. The family has kept precious photographs and tiny bits of film from old news coverage. We had the largest skate rink in Southern California. It had a floor of 18,500 square feet. The building was 31,000 square feet. It was, it was massive. A simpler time demanded a dress code and rules of conduct at Aquarius in La Mesa. When they opened a second location at Miramar, it was advertised as teacher and minister approved. Ruth is now in her 90s. We still meet people that say, oh, I met my wife at Aquarius. And we actually did have one wedding at Aquarius on the skating floor. There were all night skates, Christmas skates, and Halloween skates and the music. We want the bump. Give up the bump. Anything that had the word funk in it, that <laughs> had that beat, man. man you, and you know, guys and gals would just get going on the skate floor and skating took on this like new thing where it, the, the art of dance on wheels became um, uh, just an obsession of so many people. The DJ had a supply of roses at his booth. You could leave a note with a rose, and the DJ would call out that person's name. It was an invitation. Let's skate together. I think it taught him a lot about manners. Guys always learned how to treat the girls much better. So I think it was a really good thing for these young people. As the years passed and the skaters grew to have kids of their own, they'd come back to stroller skate. Thus were life chapters lived out on wheels. So what happened? By the mid 80s, roller skating and rinks started to taper off. The music that was just the best to skate to was not being produced as much. You know, it, there was, music was going in different directions. Uh, a lot of grunge, a lot of different um, things that started to take place that really wasn't skate friendly music. Mortgage interest at Miramar was cripplingly high and it had to close. Then structural problems ended the location in La Mesa and just like that, the age of Aquarius was over. But for Ruth Strunk, no regrets. They were happy years for all those young people. They just loved that place. It was like uh, heaven to them. Life is different now. Music is different. I do miss those days. I, I sometimes, when I hear certain songs, uh, they're just desperate bad memories. 
just every once in a while, on the radio or someplace, there's that song. The Age of Aquarius was played at every session. The kids would go crazy. They'd go skating onto the floor no matter where they were when that song came on. We can't guess the future any more than we can relive the past. Randy says there may be good days ahead for indoor roller skating. Those rinks that are surviving can take heart in that. But to those roller kids now in their 40s and 50s who deeply loved Aquarius, its particular time, music and social culture will never be duplicated. It's something they will never forget about San Diego.